bubble finally burst on the, uh, the the Colorado undefeated season last week. Now you're a massive underdog. You're probably not going to have Travis Hunter. You're probably not going to have Shallow Sanders. And you got an SEC an SC team that might go into Boulder and, and, and put up 56 or so. Will, do you have any uh, any thoughts or any plays or any angle here on, on this game or Colorado in general moving forward? Well, I, I, you just can't lay that many points with USC. And I, and I thought last week, I mean, for them to be, what, a five-touchdown favorite, even against Arizona State, like they can just never get control of the game with that defense. They're always going to give up, you know, their 17, 21-plus points. And that's just that's asking a lot for them to cover these big numbers when you're that bad on defense. Eventually, you got to get some stops and put the game away. So uh, it would be Colorado or pass for me uh, on this one. Nothing I bet, but I just I can't lay this number with USC. Say, P, I, I know you, you, we've been pretty vocal about – Colorado probably not as good as what the record is. And, they, yeah, they put up points, but eventually lack of depth and once the quality of competition improves, but we're, we're, we're going to see them pick up some losses. And last week it finally happened. But, but as Will said, like this is a big number. Is there maybe a little bit of a too much of an overreaction the other way this week? Like, okay, the, the end is near. Colorado's never going to win another game now. But it does seem like a lot of points this week, doesn't it? Well, let's also remember, Bear, where the number opened. In Vegas, it opened 27, and that lasted for about three and a half seconds. Bam, 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 and now we're down to like 21, 21 and a half. I can tell you this is the first week we've seen sharp money on Colorado. The Sharps, remember, have been betting against Colorado for the last month because bookmakers haven't been high on this team. This is the first week we've seen money on Dion's club. And I'll tell you what, I look at this total at 73 and a half. After Colorado barely scores last week, that number tells me Colorado's going to move the ball in this game. And we know, Jeff, Oregon's got a really good defense. They got NFL guys all over the field on that side of the ball. USC has potential to be good, but their technique is bad. They still can't freaking tackle, which blows my mind that USC can't tackle. I think this is a game where USC could score 50, but Colorado's going to move the ball with Sean Lewis, the OC. They're going to get guys in space. They're going to make guys miss. I like over 73 and a half here. And obviously, you know, taking 21 and a half when you could have taken 24 or 27 is not Hard ideal. Two. I like the over, though. I think both teams are going to score in this one. So I played USC over 40 and a half points. Um, I just don't see a world where Colorado stops them defensively unless USC comes out sluggish. They're playing a nine Pacific body clock, right? They're on the road for the second straight week. They're in the altitude. So maybe there's an issue there where they start slower and Colorado is able to slow them down just because USC has a slow start. But they also didn't play a crisp game against Arizona State. So I, I don't really think USC can be stopped in this game. The hardest part I have about picking Colorado to cover this game, and I, and I did like the number originally, I have not wagered on it, is is I agree with the premise that their offense will be better this week because they can't be worse than last week, but also USC's back end of their secondary besides Bullock can't tackle and their linebackers are struggling. But I was really alarmed at just like the basic protection issues they had against Oregon. And we know USC, what, what do they do? They blitz every single play. They move every play. And I just, I concerned about Colorado's ability to generate offense if they don't fix some of the protect, not just the one on one battles, but just like the scheme things. Oregon was able to out scheme them a lot. And I just am very concerned about Colorado's offense being able to get the ball out, get it in rhythm with the defensive line of USC that is their best thing, the, the, the best thing they do on defense. So I think Colorado does play better. But, you know, this game could be 56-21 and USC easily covers. So I'm staying away from a side in this game. Yeah, I, I think your, your your USC team total is probably going to be the way that I uh, make a make a wager on this one. I think that's probably the, the safest thing I think any of us, what we just talked about, is that USC is going to score points. So Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.